What's happening, guys? Lawson here. It is a beautiful summer morning, and we are fishing on the river, looking for some snook and jack and tarpon. And it feels really good to be kind of back home into my waters that I've grown up fishing and I'm familiar with, and kind of on the hunt for some big giant snook. Today's video, though, is sponsored by Mystery Tackle Box. If you don't know what Mystery Tackle Box is, they are a subscription-based company that sends a box full of lures to your door every single month. They have freshwater boxes, saltwater boxes, and a lot of different other types. And so they send you a box of lures that you may have never seen before and some that you may be very familiar with. And you save a ton of money off of retail prices because typically your box has close to like $40 worth of lures and tackle in it and you pay a lot less than that. If you want to sign up, I'll leave a link down below and you can save a ton of money signing up for your first box and save a lot of money in general. Mr. Tackle Box is really cool. They're a huge supporter of this channel and have been for a long time. Like they're my first sponsor ever. So uh, go check out that link below because I appreciate them and I appreciate you guys. So the game plan is we're going to throw a few different baits in our mystery tackle box and some other baits here and there. And I just want to catch some snook, man. It's been over a month since I fished in my home waters. And so I just would be happy to catch anything, to be honest. So we're going to see what we can make do. Also exciting news. If you can see it up there, I got a brand new trolling motor for the boat because the old one finally kicked it. So uh, maybe we'll talk about that later, talk about that in its own video. Okay, let's start fishing. Oh, gosh, he dropped it. I think that might have been a CUDA, honestly. That hit was so freaking aggressive. Good Lord. All right, this morning, just starting off throwing spook with the uh, little topwater time that we've left. Once the sunlight kind of really starts poking over the horizon, I know it'll be kind of game over for it. So get it while we can. Oh, little jack right there. Come on. Getting quite a few hits on the top water this morning. That's three hits already. This is like perfect top water conditions. Just a little bit of chop, super low light, early morning. It's nice and warm. I've had a few hits here and there, definitely. Probably blew an opportunity, but hopefully we'll whack one. All right, we have reset after throwing top water around this morning. Right now, I am standing on top of a cooler. Got the trolling motor rolling. We're gonna cruise down a dock line. And I'm about to throw in a little swim bait here that I got in my box and I'm throwing it on 15 pound fluoro to a 30 pound fluoro leader. Trying to see if we can uh, maybe finesse you can call it 30 pound finesse some of these fish a lot of times during the summertime i notice that some big big donkey snook just kind of cruise around real lazily and slow so the idea is we're going to be blind casting just throwing around docks and drop off in any structure we can find really and but we're going to be looking keeping our eyes peeled for uh some big snook just kind of free swimming around Ooh. Oh god, the jack just whacked it. Okay, that makes me uh, already, even though it's a jack, I just, I'm not looking for a little jack. We're trying to find a big snook. But if a little jack wants to eat it, at least I know that the imitation looks good. Oh, I just got freaking nailed. What the hell just happened? This guy hit twice, and the first hit, there was a very large swirl behind. The second hit looked like a little jack. There's a really good school of green. He's beneath my boat right now.
Oh, I'll tell you what, man. Today is kind of tough. I've been fishing for probably about two and a half hours now. And to me, fishing is all about, like, figuring it out. Figuring out what the fish are doing. Figuring out what the weather is making the fish do. And figuring out what they're trying to eat. And I just have not figured it out today. And I feel kind of out of sorts. I've been in another country for a month and before that I was kind of hopping around fishing a lot of different areas so I just kind of feel out of whack at the moment I'm trying to uh, collect my thoughts and figure out what I need to do here and formulate a new game plan because when things aren't working I think there's a fine line that you kind of have to ride where there's like things aren't working for the moment and you got to kind of grind through it and then things aren't working at all and you have to make a big change and sometimes it's hard to figure out which <laughs> line you're riding and uh, I think at the moment it's need to make a change. So I've been seeing a lot of mullet. I might cast net some mullet just to have them in the well as like a backup plan, but I'm gonna move spots here in a second and figure it out. All right, we're taking a quick break from the artificial game to pitch some live bait, but then we're gonna go back to throwing our officials if we can hopefully catch a few fish on some liveies. I've actually pretty mixed well. I mean, I only have like five mullet, but I have probably two dozen pilchards and then a big, actually a, a good sized ladyfish, like a perfect bait sized ladyfish. So we'll see what happens. We're gonna pitch a mullet around some of these walls, see if we can find some fish. It's been a slow morning. I just, I need to catch something, man. Fish are hurting my feelings. I flip mold around and literally have seen nothing. Um, so I've moved locations, grabbed my small spinning, grabbed my small spinning rod, picked up some white baits here that I caught in the casting earlier, and it's just time to literally catch a freaking fish. I don't care if it's five pound snook or it's a eight inch mangrove snapper. I need to get the monkey off my back because it has been. A very unproductive day so far. I've been fishing for about five, not five, probably like four hours and not caught a fish yet. So we need to do some things to make some changes to that. That's always a good sign, a dead snook laying in the middle of a canal. That's a bummer. All right, we moved to a bridge. I know this seems really stupid, but it should work perfectly, honestly. I have put a live white bait on a weighted wacky rig that I would use for bass fishing. But the hook size is perfect. The weight size actually is kind of perfect, so we'll try it. It has been a brutal, I mean, brutal with an extra side of brutal morning of fishing, right? Wasn't getting bit on artificial, so I thought, okay, maybe I need to throw some live bait and just get on with it and throw some live bait. Still not catching fish. There's a fish. That actually feels kind of good. Oh, God. This is very, I have 30 pound test and I'm using a 2500 size reel. I'm just kind of hoping this fish doesn't even realize he's hooked. I'm just gonna kind of pull him out really slowly and subtly. This is a very big fish. All right, he might figure it out. All right, trolling motor. We're just literally gonna go in right after him. I'm literally like, trying to make this fish think that he's not hooked. Like, so he doesn't really understand what's going on. Cause I think this is a really big fish just from the size of the wake I saw. I could be wrong though. It might not be that huge. Oh my gosh, that, there it goes. He didn't break off. He just flew, spit it out. That was like a 33, 34 inch snook. Okay, uh, that, mm, yeah. Okay, maybe the wacky rig hook wasn't the best idea. And there goes literally the first bite I've had of the entire day. Got eaten right 
there. Oh, there's a fish. I don't even know if that's a snook or not. <laughs> Ooh, beautiful snapper. Holy cow. Well, not a snook, but I finally caught a freaking fish. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Nice dog snapper right there. Could be hard to tell on the GoPro, but this is not a mangrove, I don't believe. You see how yellow his fins are against my hand. He's got a really bright blue line, which mangroves get that as well, but not as prominent as a dog snapper does. Oh, we finally got a fish. Okay, including this one I just put on, I have two baits left. Let's see what happens. We can convert one of these into a fish. Today, oh, I don't even wanna talk about today. Well, back home, it's actually a few days later. I know, that, that was a very, very tough day of fishing and Probably one of the toughest days of fishing in my home waters that I've had in a very long time. But, I will say, in the next few days went out and actually caught some really good fish. So, makes up for it. But, I feel like it's important, or at least, I like to put out a video that shows me getting my teeth kicked in, basically, every once in a while. So, you guys have a realistic understanding of what goes on. I think a lot of people think that, like, oh, like, every time I go out, I crush fish. It's like, no. I fish like five to six times a week and normally get like two or three videos because a lot of those days I am just not catching fish and you have days like that that is really brutal and it's like you have all these amazing lures that should be working and you're getting some bites here and there but you're not hooking anything and then you start throwing live bait and you're still not getting bit on live bait and it's kind of like what the heck man is going on but thankfully figured it out a few days later and things kind of corrected themselves You'll have to see those videos soon enough. If it looks like I'm sitting somewhere different, that's because at the moment, sitting in my new house. Whew, thanks for fighting through that video. If you made it this far, I appreciate you guys. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you leave a like. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. That'll keep you up to date whenever I post a video. Whew, I appreciate you guys, and uh, I'm very happy to be back home in Florida. And I have some really, really good ideas for some videos and a video series, and I'm really excited to share it with you guys. I'll be looking forward to those. But for the moment, until the next video, see ya.